Barney's 20th anniversary was a pretty big deal, and rightly so. While perhaps not as grandiose as his 10th, the big 2-0 did see some big celebrations. While a lot culminated in the video The Best of Barney, one of the greatest aspects of the festivities came in the form of Barney's Big Purple Bus Tour, a 20-stop traveling tour that brought Barney across the country. The tour, which was also called Barney's Birthday Bash, not that one, or just Barney's Birthday Celebration, came as a result of Hit Entertainment's partnership with toy company Jack Specific. 2007 saw the release of a new line of Barney toys to be released at Toys R Us, another tour sponsor. Barney was certainly no stranger to Toys R Us, and hosting the Purple Dino and his tour bus in-store was a perfect fit. To add to the sheer amount of promotion, Jax was also running the Barney Be A Star sweepstakes in tandem with the tour. Parents would create music videos of their kids dancing, singing, or just having fun with the new line of Barney musical instruments and submit them for a chance to win a walk-on extra role in Barney and Friends. A heck of a prize! While the website hosting the contest didn't hold up super well, it did keep the complete Purple Bus Tour schedule, which is a huge plus. As for the tour's day-to-day, -to -day, similar to previous live shows and tours, Barney would kick off each stop by first visiting a local children's Miracle Network hospital to not only perform a sing-along and visit with kids who needed it most, but to donate books and toys to keep the magic going after his departure. A local celebrity, whatever that may have entailed, would have presented Barney with a gift at each stop to be auctioned off at the tour's conclusion to collect further proceeds for the hospitals. Purple Bus Tour was already pretty accessible, with Barney's visits being at a public store, but I always appreciate when the fun is brought straight to the kids and families going through such a difficult time in their lives. The next two days would take place at local Toys R Us locations and offered activities like coloring special birthday cards for Barney, meet and greets, and photos with Barney in this neat keepsake frame. The bus itself is honestly pretty cool and features all four dinos. Some stops, like the January 08 stop at Times Square, featured a bonus sing-along show. Despite it being the standard traveling live show used for multiple tours, I'm sure it must have been fun at such an iconic Toys R Us location. Barney himself was quoted as having way too much fun, and also that he hoped to meet Jeffrey, the giraffe mascot synonymous with Toys R Us. Speaking of quotes straight from the dino's mouth, newspapers ran a variety of interviews with Barney about the tour itself and his 20th anniversary. Some highlights from the interviews include this one from Cleveland, Ohio. These guys kinda jumped the gun and actually asked Barney what he would be drinking to commemorate his 21st birthday the following year, and Barney cleverly sidestepped by reminding them that he is 200 million years old and that this is not his first rodeo. Another amusing anecdote comes from the Chicago Tribune interview where Barney expresses interest in seeing a Cubs game only to be told that it was a little late for the team. Barney commends both the Cubs and the Bears by reminding them that they tried. Overall, though, the Barney spirit is still present throughout these interviews and honestly succeeded in making his appearances feel unique to each city he visited. Another pretty cool highlight of the tour are the appearances that featured Barney's then-voice actor Dean Went interacting with families live via DinoSync. These visits were probably limited to the Dallas, Texas locations. Videos of the event were indeed uploaded during the tour's run there, but even so, it just makes those visits even more special. It isn't every day Barney compliments you on your cowboy boots the way he does to an audience member here. Oh, I like your cowboy boots, by the way. <laughs> Yeehaw! The tour, having kicked off in Boston, Massachusetts on the 8th of September, ended in Seattle, Washington the following year on April 13th, 2008. The 20th anniversary celebration itself would also taper off by early 2009 after two years of partying. While Barney's 25th anniversary was celebrated in 2013, the 20th was one of the last great hurrahs at that time in Barney history. The Big Purple Bus Tour may not have been one of the stadium shows of old, but it was a chance for families to get up close and personal with Barney in their own communities, and that is probably the true highlight of the tour. As always, if you're looking to learn more, don't hesitate to check out my friends at Barney Wiki and Barney History Fans. Thanks for watching!